something straight out of Batman with its own superhero behind the wheel. Hidden deep below some of New York City's most expensive buildings is an exclusive world of high-end, high-tech parking. And who else would you want to drive the story but Robert Frank? Hi, Robert. Hey, Contessa. Well, this is the latest luxury in New York. It's called, you might call it the Robo Garage. It's a 24-hour automated parking spot that can cost an additional $300,000 on top of your multi-million dollar condo. So here's how it works. You pull up to a kiosk in your building, you swipe an RFID tag, and a metal pallet rises up from the garage to retrieve your car. The car then automatically descends into that subterranean robo-garage where it is stored in its special spot. Now when you need it again, you just swipe your tag and your car is automatically lifted up in about two minutes. No garage attendants and they can fit in more cars in the garage because you don't have all the turns and ramps you need for human drivers. Now, the lack of space is one reason regular parking spots in Manhattan condos have sold for as much as $750,000. A parking spot in a regular garage in Manhattan can now run over $1,000 a month just to rent one. Now, Miami has come up with its own take on luxury condo parking. It's a car elevator that brings you and your car up to your high-rise condo where you can park it in the condo. The Porsche Tower in Sunny Isles was the pioneer. Now the Bentley Tower expected to open in 2026 will also have its own car elevator. And guys, at some point, the robotic cars will just stalk, start talking directly to the robotic garages and they won't need any people for anything. Okay, can I just point out a couple of things? $750,000 for a parking spot is for people who have too much money. Two, the parking in New York City, and I wonder about Chicago and Boston and other places where parking is always at a premium. Part of the reason it's at a premium is because they've allowed the restaurant sheds still to take up most of the streets and the parking spots that are left are taken over by the city bikes parking. Give me, I mean, they just do not care the cities about drivers anymore. They don't, they don't want the cars. Contessa, you're absolutely right. There is a parking crisis in New York, partly because of the reasons you cited, but also because remote work. So many people bought cars during COVID and are still not taking public transportation. And on a Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday in Manhattan, it is impossible to find a space, which is why you're seeing these new innovations I'm in the condo I'm thankful for my towers. free space at work.